Hello folks, I'm Russ Scala with the Institute of Nutritional Medicine and Cardiovascular Research. Behind me is a Depew nursing home. In the early 80s, I used to take patients there while I was working as a paramedic, take them from their home inside the nursing home and, and, and really see in real time what happened um, during that life cycle. At the Institute, we're able to design disease-specific treatment protocols for the aging population, diabetes, heart disease, cancer. We could focus these treatment protocols on the individual to maintain their quality of life while they're in an assisted living center. The average person over 60 takes five different medications. One of the treatment protocols that we could bring to the table now is to offer genetic testing from our genetic testing team that will allow us to see what medications are working inside the body and remove the medications that may be dangerous. That'll separate us from everybody on the market. Right now we're in the middle of a paradigm shift in medicine. All treatment protocols are about to change in real time and will be focused on the individual. But there are some sweeping generalizations that we could offer individuals, assisted living centers and nursing homes. And that's to educate the people in those facilities on the importance of nutrition. You are not what you eat, you are what you absorb. Some of our testing looks at how well the intestinal tract absorbs nutrients, as well as helps the patient maintain muscle mass as they age, or sarcopenia, uh, the medical term for that. Keeping people in the game and keeping them active, their need for affiliation with other people, that's what's gonna help them resonate, that's what's gonna keep them healthy. While working with the leading research neurologists across the United States, we know that Everybody worries about cognitive decline in their, in their mothers and fathers or, or, or their grandparents. But what we have to understand is, is that cognitive decline is multifactorial. It doesn't just come from one area and the treatment pro protocol has to be multifaceted. Basically we have to look at multiple systems of the body to slow that cognitive decline and we have done that with individuals. We just need to plug that into facilities. Look what happened with all the new research about cholesterol. Cholesterol used to be considered bad, but now we know, thanks to the latest research, that cholesterol is used to make up every cell in the body and a large part of the brain. And if your cholesterol is too low, you will cause cognitive decline and cause heart problems. This information is just now getting into people's hands. The average physician with 4,000 hours of training has very little training in nutrition. We bring that to the table. We bring the education on the nutritional aspect of how nutrition impacts the brain chemistry to the facility that we're working with. As you can see, we want to provide a graphic representation of the structure or the business model that we bring to an assisted living center. First, our research institution has over 20 PhDs doing cutting edge work in advanced therapies, advanced treatment protocols. The average person that goes to an assisted living center many times has three, maybe four physicians. None of these physicians talk to each other. We alleviate that model so everybody stays on one page. Secondly, our compounding pharmacy is a research pharmacy where we are able to develop new formulations along with new delivery systems. If everybody is biochemically unique, then everybody really can't take just one drug. We have to look for alternative delivery systems, i.e. transdermal patches, sublingual nutritional support, and many times IV solutions to get somebody ramped up nutritionally by using the IV therapy instead of just uh, swallowing a bunch of vitamins, as an example. This model that we develop for assistant living centers will allow us to streamline the operations very quickly, train the staff, implement treatment protocols as a revenue stream for the assisted living center, and I can tell you that the assisted living center that introduces this protocol will be the early adapters in this field. To find out more about our business model, see us on the web and give us a call.